answer. Because you are that, you are capable. You are gifted, and you are so unique. All of the things that you may hate about yourself are your strengths. It's okay to be soft. It's okay to be opinionated. It's okay to be different. And it's so okay to just be. The world awaits to receive you. Bitch, I'm back. I'm popular, the man. Bitch, I'm back. I'm popular, the man. Bitch, I'm back. I'm popular, the man. Guess who's back? Yes, yes, yes. You know who it is. It's Grace Levi. And I'm here for a round two this week, okay? Two days back to back. It must be something special going on around her. All right. Actually, I wanted to get back to our trending topics because, you know, we've been doing Hollywood on fire. And um, yeah, with that goes to say, I think we have other things to talk about. So today I am streaming just a little bit on YouTube. I'm giving myself a fair warning and a reminder. Reminder, girl, behave. You, you know what I'm referring. You know what I'm saying. Shout out to Rumble. Love you guys. And I'm streaming on the Lash Ladies page on Facebook. If you don't know what that is, Lashley's is our sponsor, and our sponsor focus on health and wealth, okay? So what you see in the beginning of our lives on Rumble, where you see all these nice outfits, if you check out the website, we have a lot of health and wellness items as well. So if you like to work out, we have things for men and women. I'm going to go into that a little bit later, just to show you a little bit more what our sponsors have. We have water bottles, workout equipment, and also waist trainers, okay? Sooner, in, in a couple of weeks or so, I'm going to show out, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to show y'all my book before or after. Because I was looking at my last year picture versus this year, and I definitely passively weight loss. And that is the theme. It's passive weight loss, okay? Just by changing your lifestyle and figuring out what food's going to kill you. You know what I'm trying to stay in the way. So today we are going to do our typical lineup, which is a little bit of cele celebrity news, not as intense as we did before. Also, some local updates, some local updates, meaning local in anywhere in the United States. When I say local updates on some um, some topics that we were talking about. And do you know, you know, I can't go without doing it. We're going to get into a little conspiracy. Y'all know I can't help it. You know that conspiracy I get into just be a little bit different. So we're going to save the rest of that for Rumble. You know how we do. We're going to keep it politically correct just a little bit. Just a touch of uh, politically correct while we're on YouTube. Okay. Um, let's get it started. So today, the first topic we do have on our celebrity lineup, what they're not talking about and what we're going to talk about is actually Cardi B. Now, I know Cardi B is in the news for what's going on with her and her husband. But this is not the topic that I will talk about today because I don't beat a woman when she's down, especially when it deals with love and all of that. I'm, I, I will not be involved in none of that. So respect goals because I'm a woman before anything. But I will talk about other subject matters related to Miss Cardi B and how karma catches up to her in different ways. So this particularly here is the case that she has pending and she is fighting not to let the assault trial get evidence related to what went on with her and Nicki Minaj. Okay. Do y'all remember that? Do you remember it? Let's get into it. Cardi B demands that that there be no talk of any past altercations she had, which includes her epic showdown with Nicki Minaj and her upcoming assault trial. I don't understand how you can ask that when that is a buildup of your character and that's what you have shown us. OK, so, yeah, that doesn't make sense. At the end of the day, if the judge don't allow evidence of, you know, past assault or things that actually been convicted, at least that, then we know we got some issues. You know what I'm saying? OK, bought and sold. According to the court documents obtained by RadarOnline.com, 
Cardi B filed a motion de um, demanding certain topics and evidence be off limits in the court matter. As a radar online.com previously reported in 2020, a female security guard named um, Amina Ellis sued Cardi B for alleged assault in 2008. Now, this has nothing to do with the, the stripper girls. You know what I'm saying? This is something else. You know, and she, you're hearing Cardi B has been in too much. And now, like, it's like everything is blossoming and you're feeling the repercussions. That's why I'm praying for you. I won't even not, I will not kick a chick with shit down, especially, and you're going through, you're about to go through a d divorce. You see what I'm saying? I, I pray for you, girl. In her motion, Cardi B asks that the claims bought by Ellis be determined based on the testimony of witness with personal knowledge of alleged incident between defendant and plaintiff. Okay, Cardi B a court, uh, uh, argued that any evidence pertaining to other uh, allegations acts which occurred at different times and places and involve other people and circumstances should be excluded because by law, such evidence cannot show defendant acted similarly on a single occasion with plaintiff. No, 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 no. Okay, everybody, no, 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 that's not how it goes. How it goes is that if you have basically the same behavior consistently in different situation, the judge can use that for their discretion as far as character witness. That's like saying that someone murdered somebody, but you can't use it in this trial because it has nothing to do with that plaintiff. So I wanted to put that up there. You see what I'm saying? Everybody getting a little... And that that that's Cardi B word. That's her word. That's why I keep you see what I'm saying. Yeah, it's time. Karma is coming into roost for a lot of people, and we're all under that. Okay, I'm not gonna exclude myself, but I pray to God all the good deeds that I did and I wiped half of that away. That's why you have to monitor what you do and how you live your life. Money is not gonna save the drama and the heartache. Okay, so let me just move off the screen, Miss Cardi B. I'm gonna send a little bit of love to you because you know, when you're dealing with a broken heart, it's not easy. It's not easy. Oh, uh, now let's move on to a little bit of Jay Z news. Okay, look, 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 look what we got now. I, I know y'all remember this particular subject matter related to Jay Z, where there was a young man that looks a little similar to Jay-Z is saying you are the daddy. Now, um, from my research that this has been a very trying 10 years of back and forth, a lot of money, a lot of court dates, al allegedly a lot of corruption in this court matter. Okay. This is godmother and the godmother is actually the one that's, that have taken care of the young man since um, his mother has passed. So godmother of 31 year old man who claimed Jay-Z is his father calls for Joe Biden help. <laughs> Joe Biden. My thing is what you, is, look, if Joe Biden ain't going to do nothing for black people collectively, you think he about to show you some tokenism, get your daddy on them child supports? Mm -hmm. You like, well, if Trump pardoned all them rappers, maybe he could get me some child support, some backup child support. I want this paternity test. Okay. So New Jersey activists claim that the alleged um, intimate son, excuse me, of Jay-Z is still the rapper's child, despite the 10 year refusal to take a fraternity test. So all this time, Jay-Z been dipping and dodging the fraternity test. How do you get away with doing that? I mean, I mean, you, how do you get away with 10 years? So something has to be wrong. According to the blacknews.com, claims the billionaire who real name is Sean Carter is the biological father of Ramir Shadowitz, Shadowitz, despite his refusal to take DNA tests under the New Jersey state law, as long as he is a resident of the state. Barry claims that Carter owes owns property in the state, but his team claims that he does not. So this is how they set up jurisdiction. So if you don't understand, the reason why they're talking about this is because this is how the court set up jurisdiction. Your business has to be in the area, your home has to be in the area for a claim to be brought up against you in that area. Do you understand? Now, if it's on the federal level, 
They just take you to, you know, they're going to probably take you to the feds, to feds, to the feds. Okay. So let's move forward. Okay. So um, Barry claims that Carter owns property in the state, but his team claims that he does not. Shadow Weiss is the son of the late Wanda Shadow Weiss, who claimed she, who claimed she and Carter slept together in 1992 when she was 16 in high school. She told Daily Mail that she met the song she met the song cry artist through her friend Kalisha Allen in Philadelphia, and they had intimacy at an apartment in Brooklyn, New York. The late mother claimed that they used protection during the intercourse, but the broke. OK, Wanda passed away of heart failure in 2019, but Carter and his attorney has denied her claims. Prior to her death, Wanda also reported signing affidavits back in February 2015 that has also signed that was also signed by Allen. I, Wanda Shadow Wright, writes this allegation about my relationship with Sean C. Carter. I met Sean Corey Carter in fall 1999, and he had identified himself as Rock through my friend Kalisha Allen, who is eyewitness. Read the affidavits. I went by the name of Carmen, Carmel, or Precious. Kalisha rode in the front of the car with Sean Friend while Wanda a.k.a. Carmela Precious Road in the back with Sean. The driver drove what looked like an, uh, what do you say, adult, uh, uh, the driver drove, which was a gold and yellow car, gold or yellow car, so he gave it the Eldorado. That's what he said, it's Eldorado, excuse me. So the driver drove an Eldorado, which was a gold and yellow car. So the reason why she's talking about that, she's trying to get some details. And if they could find pictures of the person who had this type of car, you know what I'm saying? This is what she's doing, kind of putting some details in there, some like discoverable facts. Does that make sense? So we were taken back to Sean's aunt apartment in Brooklyn Projects in New York. Wanda said that after partying, Alan went to one of the rooms and Carter's friend with Carter friends and said she went to another room where they had intercourse. She said that the former Rockefeller co-founder came back to see her again two weeks later to hang out, but she declined because her mother would be upset. Wanda said she didn't know how to reach then the 22 year old because she did not know his real name until she saw him years later on television. So this is the son and this is Jay-Z. Look at that picture. Doesn't that look like him? It does, honestly. So I want to just give y'all an update that this is still pending. Mr. Jay-Z is still out there dodging a bullet. He said, no, no. This man is a grown man. So my thing is that why are you not taking the DNA test? What would it hurt if you take the DNA test? You don't owe this man money right now. You know, at the end of the day, He's a grown man. I don't know what court will actually make you liable for that. And if you are, you have money. The second thing is that I'm just going to be honest. People look at this and be like, it's nothing. This young man is still suffering. I don't care his big old 30 year old age, whatever this young man is. You need a father. You need a mother. It is a void in you when you don't have a father or a mother or both. People in that situation understand, but the people who don't, who are not in that situation, they're like, it's nothing. You're old. Get over it. No, it's a void. And then to see this person that may be your father and they look like you and he just living his best life and then you struggling. And it ain't only just about the money, but you're struggling mentally and physically. Your mother passed away. Nobody to claim you. It's hard. So I'm going to just say shout out to this young man. You know, do what you need to do to get your closure. But what I will say to you, coming from a home where I was like a fatherless child, we always call him my sec my original daddy. You know what I'm talking about? My original daddy. Something similar, not similar to this, but just um, knowing that you have a father out there that's not paying attention to you and they're like living their best life, like that really hurts. And it's nothing that you can make someone else do to love you. This is something that I had to learn as a person. So I want to send this message to what's his name, Mr. Zaire, if that's your name. Please 
take the time to love yourself and heal. And I know that you want a father, but I'm going to be honest. The only, only type of healing that I got from that situation was getting the love of the father God. That I'm going to be honest. I ain't going to be pushing the Bible, but it gave me a sense of, of wanting, of need, of covering. And I know a lot of us need covering, even men. So just keep that in mind. Try to find another outlet that you can heal, because no matter if he takes you and admit it, takes the test, no matter what, if he don't want to deal with you, he's not going to deal with you. OK, sometimes it's just like that. And it's this part of your your life is just part of your karma, you know, your karma. I just call it like, that's my karma. Like, why my daddy don't love me? Why my daddy don't love me? Maybe it's something that I have to go through in this lifetime. Maybe it's something you have to go through in this lifetime that's going to get you to the next level, make you stronger. Maybe make you have a testimony like me, like, you know, my original daddy don't love me. But it's okay because you you heal. And then at the end of the day, when you get like that, I'm not getting too sentimental. But when you do heal, then you feel bad for the person because you're like, damn, you that messed up to do that. And that don't bother you. That's when you say the person is soulless. And do you really want to have a relationship with that person? You see what I'm saying? Would you like to learn a brand new and innovative way to invest your extra money that has a low barrier to entry and low competition? What if I told you that it is a guaranteed method to get up to 18 to 20% return on your investment? Tax lien and deed purchasing is the only way to get into the real estate market through the back door. No credit and no loans needed. This method isn't commonly taught and therefore the competition is very low for now. Put together a 14 hour info packed course, which will teach you everything you'll need to know to get started. Learn at your own pace, step-by-step, -step, guided video and aids to start you on the TLC deed investment process. The course offers many learning tools for new investors, helping ensure you safely invest in tax liens and deeds. Contact us today and join the buyback team.